You know, we all want to achieve our goals. For some, it's big. For some, it's small. The goal doesn't matter, but how we get there is the most important thing. How do you achieve your goals? It's not that simple, right? We all got goals. Big goals, small goals, it doesn't matter. Even though when we set those goals, we're so motivated to achieve it, it's not always that easy, is it? In the past, I've struggled with achieving my goals and just even staying motivated to think about my goals. I wish there was a way to achieve my goals faster. That's what you're saying, right? Well, in this video, I will give you three ways to help you achieve your goals faster. For some of of us, achieving goals can be a really difficult thing because we're constantly distracted by everything around us. When you do something fun, what's one of the first things you tend to do? You tell it to other people, right? Maybe it's your family, maybe it's your friends. We as humans, we love to talk, we love to share our experiences because one, that unconsciously brings us happiness. Two, we love to be seen as superior in what we do and how we feel. So the first tip I will give you on how to achieve your goals easier is to talk to other people about your goals. You you know, I used to think that, oh yeah, lone wolf, do not talk to anyone about your goals, keep it to yourself, silent grind. That's just stupid. And I can understand the thought process, but after time it's just stupid because you want to achieve it and stick by the person you're trying to become. And when you talk to others, when you tell other people your goals, maybe not even so detailed, it doesn't matter. Because if you do not tell it to other people and keep it to yourself, it eases the fear of failure. That makes it really easy to avoid changing your life and you will slowly drift back into your old habits and routines. There are research to back this up. People who go public by what they think, do or will achieve, achieve it and stand behind what they think 80% more than people who do not go to public. Have you ever seen that when somebody tells you something next to other people and you see on his face that he actually realizes that he's wrong, he will still, still defend his standpoint because he has gone public now. He will feel ashamed if he would admit that he was wrong. So we can use this to our advantage and tell people our goals, not to seem like superior or something. If you want to do that, I do not advise it, it's not good. But to stick by our word and do what we have told other people to do and psychologically this will also come unconsciously to you. Also, support from people who are closest to you is just a cheat code to achieve your goals faster. By research, people tend to find difficult tasks 15% easier when they have their companion or friend next to them. So it makes a kind of sense. So the first step you will do right now is to go tell your mother or father or brother or your best friend that your goal is to X. Just tell them what your goal is. Uh, do not go into detail. You don't need to if you want to. Of course you can, but just go talk to them about your goals. And also keep this mindset of uh, keeping it to yourself, silent grind, keep it out of your mind because it's not good on you in the long term. It will help you to stay motivated in the beginning, but by experience, I know it's not uh, sustainable. When we think about achieving our goals, what do we think of? The first thing I think of is what if I do not achieve it? So what happens? I don't even start with the task. I just say, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm too, I'm too scared in all honesty to start now because I do not know what to do. Whilst if I thought about the benefits of achieving a goal, it would be a lot easier. And not like fantasizing about anything or saying, oh, when I will reach, oh, I will do this, that. No, keep an objective list of the benefits you will gain after achieving your goals. It would also not help you to visualize and fantasize about achieving your goals 24-7 and not take any action. That's one of the worst things you can do to your future and yourself at this moment. Because then you only fantasize and you become a daydreamer, you do not take any action, which leads to you living an unfulfilled and brainwashed life. So what you can do is to take a paper right above the goal you want to achieve. Maybe it's just becoming a millionaire or buying your first car or I don't know, getting jacked. It doesn't matter. Do not write what would happen if you would not achieve it. Write the benefits, objective benefits and also how you feel. So make it a little bit subjective too on the benefits you will gain after achieving it. And look at this list every couple of days to remind yourself what will happen if you work for your goals every single day. This is a cheat code, okay? Sometimes we forget why we even start or want to achieve a goal. So looking at this and telling yourself, wow, these are the benefits, I gotta work for it. It's just so easy and simple. 
and it will help you. I promise. We love rewards, right? You love rewards. I do. Everyone loves it. That's just something that makes us feel better. Whether it's a piece of chocolate or I don't know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It just makes us feel good. So why do you not reward yourself for every sub goal you achieve? I'm not talking about big goals like the biggest goal you have. No, sub goals. The goals that will bring you closer to you achieving your biggest goal. Why do you not reward yourself? Maybe because you think it's cringe to reward yourself. Maybe because, I don't know. Know, you think you will get back into the bad habits but the thing about rewards is it doesn't always have to be something that will take you away from achieving your goal if you're trying to lose weight your reward shouldn't be eating a big ass piece of cake because then one you're stupid and two why are you even achieving the goal or trying to achieve it if you're going to f it up after a good week no the sub reward can be something simple and preferably have nothing to do with the actual goal let's say you want to get your first million and you just worked really hard and the whole week you made one thousand dollars perfect right that's a really good beginning i mean a lot of people want to be in your situation so let's reward yourself what do you do do you just take a week off no because then you lose the opportunity to make another k do you take a day off maybe but that's not really a reward because you love working right because it's achieving your goals maybe you can just for one night go to watch a movie with your friend go watch that barbie movie i don't know go watch or go to the theater it doesn't matter but something that is small but will make your day and i advise you to invest into experiences rather than materialistic rewards because experiences actually make us happier also common sense um rewarding yourself for these sub goals gives you something to look up to like you actually become excited to achieve that sub goal and you take the willpower out of it you take the motivation out of it and it's just like yeah i have to do this to achieve this simple let's do it i mean i used to be a person who wouldn't reward himself because i thought it was cringe and a man shouldn't reward himself but i've seen that if you do not reward yourself and take the time off as a reward that's needed you will become exhausted and make this thing would not make you happy anymore so it's crucial to reward yourself every once in a while maybe every week every two weeks every four days find it out for yourself it's just something personal and i believe in you so the thing you have to do now is to implement these three things if you do these three things i promise you in a couple of years you will see yourself have achieved your goals just chilling and setting your next big goals to achieve. Thank you for watching and never forget that happiness is achieved.